Three is taking action for your mental health this morning. You know, we're just a couple of days away from the two year anniversary of the mass shooting in Virginia Beach. Our community lost 12 people that day, and that type of trauma is very tough to process, especially since we entered the deadly COVID-19 pandemic, not even a year after the mass shooting. So I sat down with a local psychologist to get advice on how we can manage the trauma two years later. The first anniversary of the mass shooting happened while we were in the thick of the pandemic. As we were learning more and more people were dying every day due to COVID-19. What is the best way for us to um, feel like we're honoring those lives lost while still moving through the trauma of, of everything that we've been through? We find ourselves at a point where we can't even recover from one trauma before we're exposed to another trauma. They do shatter our sense of security. Uh, they leave us struggling with a lot of different emotions, memories, and anxiety that sometimes won't go away. And our bodies can't sustain that type of state long term. Uh, so some of the things that we can do to move forward to ease the psychological trauma are to get moving, exercising, not isolating. We have a tendency to isolate and withdraw from others, but sometimes isolation can only make things worse. Connecting with people, engaging in social activities, especially now since we can go outside a little bit, take deep breaths. We can do that right now. Inhale and exhale slowly, count to 10, repeat, limit alcohol and caffeine, which can aggravate anxiety and trigger panic attacks, and take some time out. Uh, we live in a culture where we are not encouraged to take time for our mental health the way we do if we're sick with a physical illness. Um, so take PTO if you can. Take some time to practice yoga, listen to music, meditate, process what you're feeling. Um, because unless we are able to really be honest about our fears, we're not able to work through them. So know that the fears are normal. <laughs> Your reaction is normal. Time. Time is a huge factor in healing that piece. Now, Dr. Shabazz says it's also a good time to take a break from social media. Seeing so many traumatic images can be re-traumatizing. Now, if the tool she mentioned can help you manage that uh, stress or anxiety that you're, you're feeling because of all the trauma we've experienced, she says it's a good idea to reach out to a mental health professional, a therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist. You can ask your doctor or insurance company for a referral. And local schools like EBMS also offer free or reduced counseling if you don't have the insurance or funds to pay for the cost of therapy. It's such an